It's she. DJ. SP. <laughs> okay, so can we bring the music down? She's there. She's like, oh my god, no, no, no. Yes, darling. We are going to start the interview, and I am super excited to have the beautiful, the talented, the ambitious, and gorgeous DJ SP in the house. Thank you for having me. Thanks for having me. Really happy to be here. Nervous. This is going to be like my longest interview. Yes. Yeah. She was saying it's going to be her longest interview, but I've got an exclusive. We have an exclusive today with SP. And, you know, I do see you, you're a bit, you, you act a bit timid, but when you get behind those <laughs> decks, yeah, she doesn't mess around. And also, in terms of business and your mindset, I also think you're a bit of a go-getter, you're a bit of a fighter. Yeah, so, definitely, definitely. So, look, 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 you hear the voice, <laughs> the voice oomphed up there. Yeah, you're definitely, yeah, you're my, you're my, you're my. So, let's go. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a laugh. I want you to be relaxed. Right. Zero All sound, right. it's, not, it's, not, it's not too uptight. Just be yourself and share your wonderful story. So, let's start with the question of what inspired you to become a DJ? Um, so, I actually got my controller during lockdown. Um, I just got it for fun. Like previously, I'd taken an interest in it, but I hadn't really invested any money in it. And this was like during my teen years. I'm quite a bit older now, like double that age. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hadn't invested any money in it back then or bought any equipment, but while we was in lockdown, I thought, why not get a controller, have a go? Um, and yeah, that's what kind of <laughs> got me to where I am now. I would, none of this has um, been expected at all. Like, um, I literally got it for fun and yeah, it's just the journey has been crazy over the last year and a half, over a year. Do you know, lockdown did a lot for a lot of people. It did, it did. Um, it's like, there was time, wasn't there? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. there was time to think and yeah, time to do. And it's like, what do I actually really yeah. want? And yeah. so what you did was pick up the decks and say, you know what, let me yeah. entertain myself. And like yeah. you said, your journey, you're just growing and building and your presence is definitely there. So so it's a year and a half you've been DJing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what kind of music did you start to play when you first started DJing? Um, so when I first, like, so actually, okay, so when I ordered my controller at the start of lockdown, I think that must have been like February, May, I can't remember when exactly when we went into lockdown, but March, yeah, March, 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 yeah, okay, so that's when I ordered it. It didn't come until like July, so <laughs> I was literally at home waiting every day, um, and I had some music on my laptop, um, but it was mainly like garage, um, so I was practicing mixing garage uh, mainly. Um, I had a few house tunes as well but I was mainly streaming what I had on my SoundCloud because I hadn't actually ever built up a collection of my own music before so um, I was just practicing with that until yeah the controller arrived. So so you were practicing just on your laptop then? Yeah. yeah. So you e eagerly waiting for the controller to come and just yeah literally everyone was in lockdown didn't have much to do apart from chilling in the house um, so yeah I was using the laptop um, which also I think helps me with, I use headphones sometimes, but um, m more time I don't. Um, and I think it's because of that, because I started practicing visually during that period of time. Um, and actually when I got my controller, my youngest son, he broke the headphone jack within the first week. <laughs> so I, did, I couldn't use the headphones anyway until I um, sorted that out. So um, yeah. But that's because that was that was going to be one of my questions that I had for you, a specific one. There's a lot of generic questions that I would ask, but for you, that was something I wanted to ask about. Because yeah. I saw like a post a while ago, and someone was talking about you, but you said that I mix about headphones. And I was like, wow, like you. So you actually learn in your own style and your own way. Yeah, basically, basically. Um, and previous to that, so like my teenage years, I'd only ever really practiced with vinyl. Um, and I've noticed now a lot of DJs, um, like when I've been going back to back and stuff, a lot of DJs use um, like the volume where I use the fader. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of the way I've been learn, like teaching myself, just kind of learn my own style, I guess. That's yeah, the it's there's no there's no definite way that you're supposed to mix, yeah. but you you know you've you've obviously got talent and you look vinyl, so you yeah. you've you've got a bit of vinyl practice as well. Oh. Yeah, a little bit, but uh, it was like going to people's houses. So I had like my friend's brother had vinyl there, and he had like a few um, 
tracks like mainly old school hip hop. Um, then I had another friend who had like garage tunes, and then another friend who had like more rap. So like only when I get to go to their houses, um, that's when I would practice. But it wasn't really anything serious. I was just like playing around to them. But I always had like an interest in it from quite a young age. Yeah, because it seems that music's been a passion throughout. Yeah. Like growing up. So d- are you a are you a party animal? Did you used to listen to, to go out to listen to music, or or you do you like different genres? Because I saw you like hip hop and R and B and yeah. yeah. So um, I would say like mixing. I think my biggest interest came. Um, I used to listen to like jungle a lot, and I used to go to school in South London. I feel like jungle's a bit more of a West London thing. Um, yeah, yeah, so like, because I'm from Northwest, I, fr- I grew up in Harrow, yeah. so yeah, we definitely like jungle, but yeah. South it's a bit different over this side yeah, of the water, so, darling. <laughs> so, yeah, like in school, I was listening to like jungle and yeah, started listening to like a lot of rap, um, a lot of old school rap. Um, Styles P is my favorite rapper, so <laughs> yeah, not, uh, but um, yeah, so I have tried to mix rap, but I haven't quite got there yet, and I haven't built up a big enough collection of my own music again I, like when I practice I do stream from my SoundCloud and I just try to practice but I can't like get the cue points permanently there so it's not something that I've been yeah do you know I'm I'm determined to mix like hip-hop and R&B I've got a massive collection because I used to make I used to make mix mixtape not mixtapes because they weren't mixed yeah. but I used to make compilations and give them out yeah, to my friends yeah. and families and then people would wait for them like when's the next CD <laughs> coming so now that I can mix I have to yeah, yeah. I have to do my hip hop and R and B because I'm, I'm I feel like I'm versatile. I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix what I like, yeah. whatever genre I like. <laughs> so what? So that's that leads me on well to my next question. Do you have a like? What's your sound? Or do you have a sound? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what my sound is. Um, when I started mixing properly, I just kind of like I, I play what I like to listen to. Um, in terms of house, um, and that's what I built up my collection around. Um, which is mainly I would say a lot of like UK house like re- um. You know, like producers like um, Scotty B and stuff like that. It's yeah. Tafa and stuff. So building up my collection there. Um, obviously, I don't really, well, the music wasn't out before. But yeah, during lockdown, like so when I just got my controller, that's when, you know, Scotty B, Lost in Abyss, that's when that came out. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favourite tunes. So yeah, just kind of started building, up co- uh, st- started building up the collection a bit more. But previous to that, I had a lot of funky house, and like old school house, because um, those are the tunes that I knew like from being a raver definitely then yeah, yeah. So, so so you're a bit of a raver fridge yeah, bar a little, a little bit yeah um yeah. i saw that you played at the fridge bar reunion I didn't know, you yeah yeah i heard you that's what i think that's the first time that i actually saw you and i was yeah. like oh, she's bad like i was like yes because i hadn't i hadn't heard your name before and yeah. obviously the reunion but you actually had a good understanding of the genre and you were flinging out tunes yeah. i was like yes girl and that's when i first connected so you played at Fridge Bar Reunion, and actually on the uh, reunion talk, T and G Reunion, Tongue and Groove yeah. Reunion is on the fourth of June. Make sure you're there because we're going to be stepping back in time. We've got Angie B, Wigman, Statics. Oh, look, we have the we have the fly. Look at that. We've got the fantastic team in the studio. T and G Reunion. Also, we we we. This is um, old school, but at the top of the screen, you can see the flyer. Follow, follow on socials, you'll be seeing lots of lots of advertisements. So TNG reunion is coming on the 4th of June. Get your tickets now. I'm going to be playing as well. So come down, come down. And talking about playing, I think as well, I really appreciate you because I've stepped into the DJ world and I've been, you know, doing my little bits and bobs. And then you approached me to come and host your stream. Yeah. And do you know what? I really ha- I want to thank you for that because... I've I've done my spoken word and I'm yeah. I, I do lots of different stuff but I haven't really pushed my vocals yeah. in the scene. I didn't really want to force my I don't know like my poetry and my sound. Yeah. So you know you sometimes yeah. you're a bit timid like do people want to hear it? No. And you asking me to do that has yeah. encouraged me to get on the mic yeah. and build up my hosting. Yeah. So massive massive thank you oh, for that. No, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy. And yeah, like when I did reach out it was kind of not pressure, but like a slight pressure because there's not a lot of females in the industry that can hold the mic. So, and we need more of that because there's a lot of up and coming female DJs. And yeah, we need more like, people that can hold the mic. Because me, I, like, when I do my lives, I'm not talking <laughs> or nothing. I barely look at the screen. Um, yeah, I'm not anti social, but I'm just not the most social. Well, you're actually beautiful <laughs> and you look amazing on screen, don't you think, guys? So, you know, t- <laughs> she does. Yes, we, yeah, we thank you very much, Iceman. And you look beautiful, and you've got 
fantastic things to say. So, so don't be shy. You should be proud. Stand up proud and be loud. But for now, I don't mind. I don't mind taking a mic. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. So yeah, that was your live. It was uh, SB and Friends. Yeah. What other different kind of uh, things are you doing apart from DJing or like ventures? What is there anything else that you're on at the moment? Yeah, so um, previous to lockdown, so I've been baking for quite a while actually. Bake results, like I said, I'm quite ambitious. So I'm always quite Did determined you know? to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite determined to have my own income. So um, I got three boys to provide for as well. So that's always important for me. Um, so that's what I was doing. Not full time, like full time mum. My youngest is not in school yet. So I was at home. That's what led me on to baking because I like, no, can't just be at home, just sitting down. It's, it's not me. So yeah, that's what um, made me do that, that business, um, which is still successful. successful so um, it, yeah. that Me and my son also started a cake business yeah. in lockdown. He runs it now. He's off oh, doing really? his bit. He's like, not interested at all. They don't even like cake anymore. But I, got <laughs> I got so much cake. They don't like cake anymore. So <laughs> yeah, they're sick of it. They're not interested. So um, but yeah, that's good that you got your son involved because that's like I always want to pass that on to my kids. Like try and have that kind of mindset. But um, I've seen you. You've passed music on to your kids because I've just, I go on your Instagram. I try to pass on like the business mind <laughs> intentionally. Music is not intentional, and they just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's sometimes it is genetic, and they yeah. feel it. But I've seen that can they could mix your little one. Yeah. Like I've watched the videos. Like they're about to go viral, and I'm like, wow, look at him go. Yeah. So so how would you like so you, they. Or do all three of them mi mix? Not, um, not, not the, the young. The, the middle one. He's my middle son. I'll say he's most like me. Um, he does. And my youngest, he's definitely um, got music there. So yeah. Okay. So what? So where can we see you playing? Like what? Actually, where have you played? Where, where have you? Where has music taken you? Where have you DJed? So I've played at um, Awoken. That was really special for me. I was at um, Peckham Audio, which is a wicked venue That's as well. <laughs> it's such a nice wow. venue. Um, where else have I played? Um, at Fridge Bar Reunion, like I said. Um, Ambience as well, which is a new um, night. That, yeah. That's Dan, 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 Dan Diesel. Yeah, um, and Stars Production. And Good I Love House, yeah. We play there, yeah. Um, where else have I played? I'm forgetting everywhere now, but quite a few places. I've done quite a few live streams as well. Um, but when I first started, you just, you just reminded me as well. When I first started, obviously, I got, just got my controller. But when I first started getting invited to play out, it's like every time I went somewhere else, it was a different controller. And I had to learn <laughs> how to use it like on the spot, and it was so much pressure. So, but yeah, so different, a lot of different places, but it's, it's always. That, that's actually interesting. I think uh, we're getting some good DJ, like actual d technical <laughs> DJ stuff in this interview because that is something that comes up. Like, what, like, yeah. what are you playing on? Is it going to be like yeah. laptop? Is it going to be USB? Yeah. Is it going to be this and that? And it does get quite, quite yeah. technical. And if even, even loading up your music, yeah. if you don't have your music properly put onto it, it doesn't show. And uh, you know, like yeah. those of us, like I know, I can, I can hear uh, my friend be free, like complaining in the distance but you know some people like use the visuals sometimes yeah. if you haven't got the visuals it can throw you a yeah. bit i know i know i should just use my ear yes <laughs> yes fine but yeah, yeah. so we're, we're running yeah, on we're just sorry we're about see it. this was a yeah but this is obviously this is i mean it's not been that bad i mean how are you enjoying your interview yeah no it's going good it's very good slightly <laughs> <laughs> well i'm gonna well i don't know if this is gonna make you sweat less or more but in a moment we're gonna go and step over to the decks and i know you're happier there you're gonna be cool yeah you're gonna chill out now um and we're gonna start and you're gonna give me what are you gonna give me your top five yeah um my top five it's a bit of a mix so i would say two of my favorite funky house tunes and then three tunes that i'm playing at the moment Okay, so you're giving me a bit of a mix and a match. Yeah. So it's about to get serious. DJ SB is going to step up to the decks and we are in for a treat. <laughs> 